Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I think. Welcome. <laughs> Gonna do some more welcome. shenanigans in the fall, guys, tonight. After guys attempting will, to play. Will be fell. <laughs> The game was going to be Valheim, but the nice little thing with these little indie studios of 12 people, uh, sometimes they just break your server, and you know, sometimes they break your soul. <laughs> Darn, uh, just how we like to start out. Exactly. Uh, so... I am ready. I am ready for multiple shows. Are you ready for multiple shows? Because here oh, I thought I had clicked we it. go. Come on, let's go, Warf. Warf, Warf, Warf. I am a sucker for Star Trek. Although, once I, I got this one before I realized that it wasn't all of the stuff. And they have one that's got Nuhura with an Enterprise backpack. That would have oh, been cool nice. to get to. But I don't think I'm good at this game enough to get all of the to get enough of the like currency to, in three days. Oh gosh. Um, so Valheim was a different a better segue into the game we were starting to talk about before we started. Um, Grounded. It's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids survival game. You're a kid stuck in your backyard. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, so you're a miniature, you're a shrunken scientifically shrunken kid on a in the backyard and you have to ding it that one is hard holy hell I think I last time we played this I used a controller because this mouse controls <laughs> doing terribly Oh my god, it's like I'm... I'm not even gonna place in this one. Yeah. Wait, our squad is in second. Oh yeah, I forgot oh, we're no. doing this squad base. So other people have finished... ...and are just watching us like, what the Yeah, they're, they're watching our squad just fucking... ...slowly get lower and lower and lower. Oh my gosh. I thought there was like a double jump. Isn't there a dive? I th I thought there was at least like some sort of grapple ability that I'm maybe just not comprehending. Oh, that's right. I think it's clicking maybe, like left click. The yeah, top so... 11 qualify and our squads are in like 14th. Well, if we finish, I... I'm not saying it's likely, but if we do, if all if our whole team finishes, we'll be in better shape than some. I think. <laughs> <sighs> Thank oh, God we're not in voice chat. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Come on, come on. It's a simple jump and you can't. <laughs> I can't even jump from circle to circle. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm finally on the circle part. Yeah, we didn't qualify, but I uh, bonus points. Oh, 
Okay, there's still a teammate that hasn't finished, so... Okay, well that Wait, makes we, me feel a little better. We might have been the first two. Alright, well, we can exit. There we go. I could read the uh, the audio getting a little loud. Oh, got it. Forgot to adjust my in-game sounds like at all. Whoa. Yeah, it's zooming all over the place. What's up? I know, I was watching her to make sure she didn't just, like, dive through the bars of the stairs. Busy Heights. Oh, this one's rough. I'm doing a lot better this time. Yeah, this one is going well for me too. Oh, we're solo. Well, it's a good thing we're both doing good then. Yeah. I qualified. Same. <laughs> Finally. A little bit behind you. What is this candle? <laughs> <laughs> so what other games have you been interested in lately, No Name? <laughs> um... Yeah, Grounded, I've been playing. It's a survival game where you're in the backyard. Um, arachnophobia warning, major arachnophobia warning for that game. There are huge spiders, but they have a spider, like a arachnophobia setting that makes the spiders not look like spiders and not really, and they like behave a little different too. Um, That's kind of cool. Yeah, I thought that was a really did they a really cool feature that they immediately bring up and tell you you can turn this on right away because we want you to enjoy our game, which yeah I thought was a pretty pretty rad move. Good to see more ways of accessibility. Yeah, there's oh it's, my gosh. it's really cool how some games will come up with something really innovative as an accessibility uh yeah, accessibility feature oh 
Um, but you're like, uh, your kid, you're playing as a kid whose memory has been wiped by the act of getting shrunk down. Um, you. I mean, so far, from what I've experienced, it's mostly just trying to survive, and then there's these mini-labs from the person who invented this shrink gun. How confident are you? How confident am I? Yeah, how confident are you? In this game? Yeah, uh, in, oh. in this specific round. Apparently too confident. Because I just got rocked by statistics. Oh, nope. I tried to take a shortcut for too long. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it either. I tried to take the middle one for too long on the one I'm. And I keep forgetting about forward uh... momentum, which is a pretty no! bad thing. <laughs> I'm the second to last. <laughs> or I'm the person. I, I'm the last one to not make it. I was right at the line. Are you still in? You're out. Yeah. I I'm All out. Right. Let's ski daddle. Are there like different seasons of this? Yeah, it seems like there are. See this this or different events? Oh yeah, no, but it does say season two also. Yeah, well, and I just don't Ski. understand w why they would need seasons. Yeah, it just seems Get people like an arbitrary. Yeah, like some sort of arbitrary progress wipe or like hey you can earn more xp now you were maxed out before but now you're not come mm -hmm. try our event but it's also a way to like slow i think it's also a way to slowly build your added content hey yoshino you're gonna have to get in line because ea right now in two different places is advertising money I don't have a crown right here, but I could have a crown in the crown store. Let's see, there's... They want you to buy the season pass. Or, I could buy more of this currency that I earned through the dailies. Through there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then there is the advertisement uh, for the... That's Star Trek, right? Yep. Mm hmm. That I just bought one of. <laughs> oh, I, I absolutely no knock to anybody who wants no. to spend money on a game. I know it's, I, I'm always it's, just it's not a good so use amused of money. by how it's not much. A good use of money. Yeah. <laughs> but it's. But it's at the same time. Every once in a while, it's like, you know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play this. I like this isn't a game I play for very long when I play it, but I play. But that means I come back to it more frequently. I don't get like sick of it or whatever. Um. Yeah, it's electronic. Uh, to see the rest of the name, pay fourteen ninety nine. All right, now that you've paid it, arts. At the same time, I do under I do see microtransactions 
they serve a decent uh, void where, like, they Where's wouldn't it? be able to put the production level that they do into a game unless right. they had that continuous unless stipend. There's, yeah, some kind of continued thing. Totally. And, like, this is something where I don't think the fun in a given match could possibly ever be taken away by something by... that's available through the... Right. It's all it's all just uh, visual. It's all just cosmetics. See, I've only ever tried rice wine from Japan. So I'm, I'm going to be really interested to see um, what other Japanese alcohols there are. I should pull up chat. Oh. If only there was a way to have a replay of chat in the video that Sage posts. I know. But the, the way would be to have that running as part of the overlay, which I would assume gets pretty complicated. Yeah, I think once he has, like, OBS or something. Right. Yeah. That'll make a big difference. Come on, Morph. Yeah, you can do it. Kapla. Alright, y'all. Stop jumping on it for a moment. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Oh, so far back. I always forget how into this game I have the ability to get. <laughs> uh, you're way ahead of me. I'm sorry that I'm holding our squad back. Well... That's the nice thing about this game, is uh, you don't really, like, if you lose, you just hop right into another match, yeah. and the weights don't seem to be anything no, more than true. a minute once you've hit, like, ready up. Ugh. Oh my gosh. You got this, Worf. I'm Worfing for you. <laughs> just remember your secret catchphrase. I'm gonna Worf it. Warfin time. Okay. Now I'm going backwards and die. Mighty Warfin. <laughs> Mighty Warfin Power Rangers. Yeah. Amazing. Mighty Warfer and Power Rangers. What's Warfer in? Some kind of medicine. I feel like the um God. The you feel like the God. Shit, what is Warf's uh race name? Oh. Klingon? The Klingon, yes. I feel like the Klingon are very similar in nature to the Kazin from Larry Niven's Ringworld books. Um, Ring World. It, it's definitely it's got my recommendation. Well, I'll have to add it. I, I forget. Of... Were we out this one? Yeah, I was, and I think you weren't. No, oh, we were duos. No, we were out. Okay. Now I know I can leave. You rocked it and I blew it. Hey, I still came in like 50th. Yeah. But yeah, the, the Kazin are yeah. these race of like, s Honor sort fighters. of 
feline in appearance. They're like um, upright felines with these massive claws and parasol-like ears that kind of fan out and like, like an alien cat, an alien humanoid cat. And they are incredibly into warfare and so much so that they will charge in before they are ready and it's due to that simple reason that they lost against humanity seven times over the course of a few hundred years now you're gonna have to start uh doing like an alcohol test involving fire yoshino to get some of those like um like the pure alcohol rating Aw, oh, thanks for the lurk, Yoshino. You're the best. But yeah, it's um Watch. the the Klingon do remind me of that in that like honor binds them to attack even if they're not ready even if it means they're doomed they'd rather die in honorable combat and yeah them but the losing... Klingons also do have like there's a, ha a subset of Klingons that are like there's nothing more honorable than victory so they actually do the sneaky like yeah deceptive uh like power manipulation way anyway no that 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 is actually a, a really good point because that's that's kind of true of any species how there's different factions and some of which mm -hmm. subvert the usual tropes that your uh, species is bound to this puzzle looks like a bitch I remember it just being really like it's all about being lucky, <laughs> to some extent. Like... You're just hoping you bounce in the right spot. <laughs> I got lucky And that these there. sombreros don't tip you. Uh huh. doing so well mm. how'd you get in that tunnel yeah uh, there's like a little little trapeze thing and wants you to do that first and it's the one that's in the blue sphere or blue square oh i see oh well let's get out of here I like that they clarified it with stop spectating and collect your rewards instead of leave the game and collect your rewards. Like, it's kind of easy to get tripped up on the lingo in terms of, am I going to get the rewards now or do I have to wait and spectate right. this whole time?
Well, and since this is a shorter week anyway, maybe it's for the best that we have something as lighthearted as Fall Guys yeah. in there. Light and short sessions. Because with some games like Valheim or uh, yeah. Risk of Rain, it's easier to get caught up past your ideal for sure. stopping time. It's definitely true. Tundra of Run. But yeah, the um okay. the Ringworld books, I definitely I, I recommend them wholeheartedly to anybody that's interested in sci-fi because Thanks. it definitely has a lot of places where it leads like Halo, the rings the ring worlds from Halo are from Larry Niven's Ringworld book. Hmm. Interesting. And more specifically, they are from the suggestion of an MIT professor of physics <laughs> who postulated that it would be more feasible to have multiple smaller scale ring worlds rather than just having to rely on one large one um, yeah. but like the amount of science that they can go into makes me very That's happy because really cool. like the uh, the plot of the book that you find out within the first 20 pages is that there is like the galactic core of the Milky Way is exploding and it explodes at the speed of light so they are trying to find a way away from the galactic explosion when humans currently don't have FTL that's cool like, I'm, I'm sure there's more ways in which I could give that justice, but... No, that's... that is an appealing description. I finished. Got it. Path to the left. Oh, or actually straight ahead. Oh, <laughs> we were 21st oh. for a second. If only I would have realized there was a little uh, path to either side of that part I got no. trapped off at. Oh, well. I've also been powering through the... Actually, I, I, I did finish all of the existing uh, Atlas stuff, like the Avatar The Last Airbender novels and stuff. Oh, nice. The comics and the novels make tremendous additions to the show. Not only because... Show you can... All. You haven't... No, I know. Th that it, it's definitely one of the ones that's like, it's a little slower to start. But they're talking cultural genocide in episode three of season one. Like Yeah, no, it's one it's definitely one that I know. Um and I could get into. There's live action movies coming or no, not um there's a live action series being made on Netflix that I'm trying not to pay attention to. But there's also um animated movies based on the series. Uh hmm relate it to characters from that series history that's cool so like uh i I'd, i definitely recommend it you can start off with just the first one of the last airbender or the last or the first episode and mm -hmm. like once you finish that there's like another series um following the next avatar incarnation and it's like uh oh, cool how much do you know about it not a ton. Well, uh, like, one of the things that got me, like, when I was a kid, was the cool, like, superpowers. But I didn't realize when I was a kid that they were actually based off of martial art forms from real life. Mm -hmm. And that they actually had people, like, to talk about different cultures with, so they weren't getting down. Yeah. Like, so they had, like, cultural... Um, not counselors, but 
um, consultants? Yes, cultural consultants. That's good. That's cool. Dang, someone already finished the battle fence. We're, we qualified. Woohoo! We made it. Unfortunately, the video games for um, the Avatar properties just never really panned out to be anything spectacular. They were only. I remember like... Sage was following someone making one on Dream or whatever that. that... Yes, Dreams. Uh, there's. I'm going to see if I can. Elka Gaming is the person doing it. Uh, so if you can look them up on YouTube as Elka Gaming, but they are currently doing a two scale remake of every place that was visited in the shows oh as like some place that you can fly from, like because you're on Appa the Flying Bison, and that's like your world map is just being up in the atmosphere. And then you that's can jump cool. off or land like guide Appa to land like anywhere um and currently like there's some progress on like this volcanic island uh there's an entire city from like one of the f like episode four is getting like a full ass remake and that's cool as shit because it's like yeah. getting to actually be on the street level of some of these places um, that's awesome it's not even something you get from like a, a, you know, full like official property game. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not even something you would get it's with like something that the devs just fan. Yeah, that's only the amount the amount of commitment you could get out of somebody that absolutely loves the property. But between like. The fact that there's two different series, and then there's the comic books, and then the locations from the game. There's yeah, a, a lot. lot of places that they can take the direction of the game. And I'm really excited to see what they do, because even the combat and just, like, terrain navigation is just really fun to watch and build. Because um, there's, like, the gliding system, there's, like, different mm. bending techniques that all have their own different uh, forms of transportation. Nice. Just cool as heck to see somebody put that level of detail in. Out of yeah, just like sure. dreams. <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. But we made it. I like that Among Us bone for a head, like the dead Among Us. Yeah. Skin. I've still never played that game. It's like, as long as, we, like, shit, maybe that's what we'll do on here one of these times. Um, because it's, it's a super accessible game in that. It's either free or five dollars. I forget That's which, cool. but it's yeah. also available on basically every platform. I think um, I have it through Game Pass. If it's not free, yeah, and I like. I think I was playing a web browser version of it for a while, hmm. but that cool. was like a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Riverdrive Heroes. It took me playing that to get so many of the cultural fucking references. It's not a game I expected there to be. But it's it's widely accessible, and it's that's really all it takes to make a cultural phenomena. As long as the premise works well, it doesn't overstay its welcome. And yeah. I think it does all of that. Nice.
No. I didn't realize. This is an. It was oh. survive. If it's a, it's a, it's survival. I'm fucked. Yeah, I just died too. But two of our people in our squad are still alive. Mhm. Mm Those poor bastards have us on You can see how many team. eliminations had happened. Like, is everyone else just still fully in? <laughs> Okay, I just saw someone do the dive thing, but I don't remember how to do it. You see, that's the crux of not playing a game for like a few months because it got boring, or you got burnt <laughs> out on it. Ooh. Right, Both of them are in the, the final. Uh -huh. That's final. Well, you better start going, bud. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we got two finishers. Wow. <laughs> hey, we qualified. We That's I can't believe we made it. Holy crap! Well, you finished second because two people finished. Amazing. I get why they call it Fall Guys. It's because they fall off the wall. Okay, that's that's a lot better. That is so. But you also fall a lot. But you also fall a lot. Uh, it's, that's terrible. <laughs> it's true. Ooh. Okay. Score points by getting balls into the opposing team's basket. Work together to get the win use shift to pick up balls I was just thinking to myself, man, it's really, really good. Nobody comes to this stream for humor. If you hold on to someone and let them go, Just hold the ball and jump into the hole, turns out, is the better strategy. <laughs> Holy crap! I didn't score once, did you? No, but I played great defense. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of defense, too. Alright, it's down to the eight of us. This might be the last one. Ugh, I hate this one.
no. Ho, 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 ho. I'm so sorry. Wait, where are you? Oh, I got eliminated too. Oh, got it. Yeah, I never jumped across. I should have been doing that. Oh, yeah. Or like using the part of it that's in this little fucking anti grab zone. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, totally. Imagine using all the controls for a game. <laughs> Yeah, how do you do that jive? Well, there's three of them and two of us. <laughs> oh, shit. No! <laughs> Oh, hell of a save. Yeah, holy crap. Yeah, just stay here, bud. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Pretty good, though. Alright, one more. Can't believe we're getting this far. I think I won once. What's up, Afternoon Tune? Hey, Afternoon Tune. We're just about just to wrap up here. Just uh, at the end. We're, we've been felling some guys um, with a mighty swing of our axe to each time. And also getting felled quite a bit. Yeah. I suppose <laughs> both... Both games have their... We we fall either in battle or <laughs> in battle royale. This would be a considered a battle royale, right? I think so. It's like a mini-game battle royale, but it's certainly got the defining aspects of one. Oh, someone go in front of me. I hate when you jump up and 16 people jump on your head. And you're stuck. Yeah, right. Oh my god, that that is one of the most annoying things. Like when you're just pinned under a crowd of people and your input means not. I dove and fell short first and had to get up and dive again. I figured out the dive, it's right click. Are you For still me, in? whatever reason, um, I am still in. Nice. For whatever reason, it's control for me. And then shift is grab. It's really making uh, me use the keyboard part of that mouse keyboard. I might, uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch that, because I don't think I like having movement and those in the right, in the same place. Hmm. 
Alright, we've gotten all, like, runs like this. None of the ski ball ones, or anything else. God, winter levels are always so much more entertaining when it's warm outside. <laughs> when it's cold outside, bad. they're just cold reminders. Ugh. I got stuck behind someone on those disappearing pads. Just go up the old fashioned way. And get shot in the face with a blueberry. That's what the old fashioned way is? Uh, seems to be. I think that the exception to that rule is when uh, GTA 5 would have the days where the server would have snow and you could like throw snowballs at each other. That was always fun. I made it! Do it! You got it! I qualified. Are you the last one? I, I was last or second to last. Amazing. But uh, I'm doing good afternoon tune. Uh, we're we're uh, we're we're doing good. Um, yeah. It's been a nice, calm, short stream. Got to keep it. Got to keep it a little bit straightforward. Sometimes. We can't always be uncovering plots to kill Counselor Jake. <laughs> How are you? We're stealing and selling. Every po every painting in town. Yeah, or stealing every painting in town. Oh, I hate this one. Planet, and gobstoppers, and rockets. Three, two. No, but I'm on the right one. Did someone try to push you off? No, the the little uh, thing that moves around. <laughs> I was not sure. I was, was not, not. I just sure. went to the one with the most people on it, and they <laughs> all died. Fair. Oh, planet gobstopper, planet boot gobstopper, rocket, planet boot gobstopper, rocket, planet boot. Wow, this one has been doing real well for me tonight. Oh, until it's about to get attacked by that thing. Whew! I made it. See, now, now the fun thing is, we get to spectate you for this next one. Because I know you, True. it's a lot more fun. And I get my playing featured for a little bit. <laughs> you can all watch me fail. Now that we're at the second to last or maybe final round. Yep. Oh. Last one. So. Final round. Watch me fail. Kapla.
Is this just gonna go in a circle like that? That's boring. Come on, thank you. We don't have to be grabbing each other. We don't have to be grabbing each other now. Let gravity do that work for us. Right? <laughs> oh, force at our RH. Nothing you can do there. Uh oh. 50 50. Doesn't one of these disappear? Let's get on with it. Get on with it. This is, what, the last one? Yeah. <laughs> it's about to get smaller and nobody's going off. I think it's just going to get progressively faster. Timberwolves 22 faster. right there. That might be uh, from around here. From around these parts. <laughs> or one of those odd folks that's just following colleges from across the country. By odd, I don't mean anything bad. I just mean... There goes one more. It's an interesting person that manages to follow, like, a really lesser known, like, the Timberwolves. I suppose Timberwolves are, are like, state basketball yeah, team, Someone isn't grabbed it? me. Yeah. Someone grabbed me and killed me. I was gonna keep going. Well, rough note to end on, but, uh... Hey, we, we did, om we almost got it so we, far. Yeah. We, we've gotten pretty close to wins a couple times now. Nice. Timberwolves won. Oh, cool. I didn't stay and spectate. Oh, I just looked down in I time to see it realize. on the stream. Like, you can leave mid right like that. That's awesome. Uh huh. All right, folks. Well, I think that is where we wrap it up for the night. Thanks, afternoon tune and uh, Yoshino Tamoya Yoshino. for lurking yeah. to wrap up your app. Um, and thank you, everyone else, uh, who's watching this before or after the fact, uh, either on <laughs> YouTube or with a time machine. Really <laughs> odd thing to watch if you're using the time machine, though. That Could make a couple suggestions us. otherwise. Wait. <laughs> yeah, you're watching us from the so past. Much. You're like in the yeah. 500 BC and you're watching somebody on Twitch. Or like, uh, it's like the most mundane weird fiction ever. It's yeah. like, you found the YouTube channel that's just like... Some, some people streaming... Fall Guys, it's like, oh, this is the only message we have from the future? <laughs> this will never help us at all. Yeah. Alright. Bye, everyone. Um, I, I yeah. guess I gotta look up who's gonna, who to raid. Um. Who is raiding? Cal. We'll, we'll raid say, Cal. Cal is on right Cool, cool. All right. Uh, thanks, Mom. Thanks, God. Um, uh, thanks, Satan, for <laughs> making God care enough to try. Um, and thanks to the Emmys. Bye. <laughs> thanks to the Emmys <laughs> is a good one. Especially because I will never rate it. Uh, I will.